Well, a friend of mine had suggested it for me because uh, my life had become so miserable and I was so angry and uh, I wanted to go away. I just didn't know where to go and where to turn. And um, somebody, a friend, a good friend of mine suggested me coming here and turning my will and life over to God. And it sounded exactly what I needed at the time. Uh, life was uh, became very miserable for me, very angry and bitter. I um, had a failed relationship and a failed career. I um, became drinking quite a lot. I was um, drinking myself to sleep every night. I had a baby girl um, that I was disconnected from because of our fa a failed relationship. And uh, my drinking kept me away um, from her. And I was completely miserable. And um, decided to turn my will and my life over to, to God and come here for a year and commit myself and serve others is a big thing I wanted to do, is just uh, serve others, is all I could think. Well, coming into the program, uh, my first month was a little hazy. I had drank so much um, to deal with everything that I completely was in a fog for a good month. Once um, that had lifted, um, I was able to start processing things and start serving and caring about others and um, through hard work, through a donation center. Um, you know, I rebuilt myself physically. I, w I worked at the barn for the first 10 months I was here. Um, my body had became so frail and the physical labor really helped me rebuild physically again. Um, through my drinking uh, and through my job, I had uh, ingested a piece of metal accidentally at my, at my machine shop I was working at and um, it, I actually had internal bleeding and I was in Hylia Hospital. Um, I'm not sure if I was gonna live or die. The doctors gave me 48 hours to live. Um, that's when it, it all, God was reaching out to me. It all came to me that I, what I needed to do. I needed to change my life and, and commit myself to the Lord and serve others. And then the program has taught me through caring about other people, helping people move into their new apartments, with, uh, which is a big part of what the barn does, is their, their gifts, um, gifts of kindness, they call it, when the donations come in. We help move the other people and families that are getting their new places, um, furniture, and seeing those that the, the families get a fresh start made me want to serve more and uh, made me reflect on my own life. Well, through the Alpha program, I got uh, a very good knowledge of uh, theology and Bible. Throughout the entire program, um, I would say, gave me a really good knowledge of the, of the Bible and made me want to serve and read my Bible every day and share it with others, uh, part of a ministry, if, if you will. And I, I uh, thank God for that. Um, it shed light on what I want to do when I, I'm after here, is which I want to go into hospice and nursing and help people that are, are clinically ill and, and going to pass on. I want to help people spiritually pass on and share the gospel with them that, you know, if they turn their lives over to Jesus Christ, that it's not going to be over and when they die. It is the best thing you can ever do for yourself. Um, it was the best thing I ever did for myself. It was a long year. I had to take a look at myself. I had to uh, completely cast off every physical possession. Um, let go of all my family, and that's what the, the disciples first did when they went, chose to follow Jesus Christ. Um, they just were told to pick up their mats and follow him and leave everything else behind. Um, and, uh, and God will provide. When you follow God on strip, nothing but faith and faith alone, he will give you back tenfold. Um, and that just not worry about anything. You know, come in, follow Jesus Christ, and, and everything else will fall into place. I would be dead or in prison. I was leading I was such an angry life. I resorted back to my old ways, and, and um, I'd either be in prison or dead. And if it wasn't for my, the thought of my baby girl and passing on, angry at God, going to hell, and um, leaving my daughter fatherless was uh, a big turning point in my life. Yes, that anybody that's uh, watching this and is having a hurt loved one, they really do need to come in and turn their lives over and serve the Lord through here and help out and reach out to others that are suffering. 
um, is the number one greatest commandment is to love thy neighbor and to live for other people and get, a, get away from our own problems. Turn your lives over to Jesus Christ, have them in your heart and let go of any bitterness that you have towards anyone and just let it all go and care for others and your wife your life will completely turn around. My name is Norman, this is my story, and thank you for watching Overcomers TV. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.